In this lesson, we're going to talk about dividing powers with the same base. Now, I've got 125 times x to the 6 divided by 5 times x to the 2nd. Notice that the actual powers are x to the 6th and x to the 2nd. 125 and 5 are just coefficients. So if I write these out, I can rewrite 125 as 5 times 25, which I did because there's a 5 in the denominator, which will help cancel nicely. And then x to the 6, I wrote out in factor form as x times x times x times x times x times x. And I did the same thing on the bottom there. I expanded x squared to be x times x. Well, what we can actually do then is divide out these common factors. We've got 5 and 5, which divide out to be 1, or just cancel. Remember, cancel means divide. Um, and then we've got 2x's being taken away from the top and from the bottom. And that's going to leave us with 25 times x to the fourth power. You can see that this 4x is left on the top. From this, we can again kind of make a general rule here. When dividing two powers with the same base, all you need to do is subtract the exponents. So if you look closer, uh, x to the 6 over x squared can be rewritten as x to the 6 minus 2, which equals x to the 4th. Notice that this is actually kind of related to how we multiply powers with the same base. When you multiply powers with the same base, you add the exponents. When you divide powers with the same base, you subtract the exponents. So in this example, I want you to go ahead and apply this new rule on your own. So please pause the video now, and we'll go over the answer when you're ready. Okay, welcome back. Hopefully you got 2 over 3 times x to the 6th power. So let's go over uh, the solution step by step. Uh, again, we've got two powers there that we're dividing, x to the negative second and x to the fourth. So when dividing powers uh, with the same base, you just subtract the exponents. So I'm going to change that to x to the negative second minus 4. Also notice that I've simplified 14 over 21 to 2 thirds. You can see that what I've done is I've divided out a common factor of 7, and that reduces 14 to 21 reduces to 2 thirds. Um, so now negative 2 minus 4 is negative 6, so I've got 2 times x to the negative 6 over 3. But again, we can't have a negative exponent in our answer. And since negative exponent means reciprocal, that means that x to the negative 6 has to go downstairs and become x to the positive 6. So the final answer is 2 over 3 times x to the positive 6th.